I'm coming into the room, I'm washing my hands, I'm applying gloves, I'm approaching my patient. Hi, my name is Pierre, I'm gonna be your student nurse today. I'm gonna to get your full name and date of birth. I'm gonna check your badge, make sure it matches. Okay, I will be doing a respiratory assessment on you today. Um, what is your pain on a scale of zero to 10? Zero, okay, great. But just make sure your bed is locked, make sure you have all your equipment, make sure you have your call light within reach. I'm gonna pull the drape from behind me, make sure you have some private seat. All right, I'm gonna bring up your bed to a comfortable working level. Okay, great. You're at a comfortable working level. All right, I'm gonna be checking your chest wall symmetry. Make sure you're breathing evenly on both sides. Great. Okay, I'm just going to inspect the chest. Okay, I'm going to um, palpate the chest, make sure everything feels normal on the chest. Okay, I'm gonna percuss between the intercostals of the ribs. Okay, I'm gonna be checking your trigger. Make sure that you're not dehydrated. Okay, great. I'm gonna check your pulse ox. 100%, great. I'm gonna check your capillary refill. I'm gonna press your finger down. Great, it returns back to normal in less than two seconds. I'm gonna check your, your mucosa, your mouth, and your nose. Make sure everything is um, nice and moist and not dry or cracked or anything. Okay, I'm gonna be checking your skin color. You're a nice shade, this is normal for you. Okay, great. Everything looks good. And I'm gonna just listen to your lungs. I'm gonna check your back first, so let's turn around on your back. There's 10 uh, spots on the back, it's so up here. Breathe in and out. Okay, that's ten on the back, three on this on each well, it's three on each side. Okay, that makes a total of 16. I'm gonna ask you to turn around the front. And I'm gonna listen to your front. There's 10 on the front. One up here, which technically could be a part of the sides, but for lab purposes, they say we could do it from the front. Okay, great. That's a total of 26. Okay, that's a total of 26 bombs position. Okay, do you have a history of any respiratory issues? Asthma. Um, have you had any uh, issues with your medications with your asthma? You have? You've had some asthma attacks? Okay, how often do you have an asthma attack, let's say, within a month? About three. Wow, okay. Um, and... Do you have any pain or anything right now? Are you feeling any chest pain or any pressure or are you able to breathe right now? Okay. How long have you had asthma uh, for? Did you, were you born with it or did you develop? What age were you when you, when you um, uh, developed asthma? 25, okay. Do you have any questions for me? No? Okay, great, all right. Well, thank you so much. I'm gonna take off my gloves. Fill them in trash, wash my hands, leave the room and document my findings. Thank you. I'm coming into the room. I'm washing my hands. I'm applying my gloves.
I'm approaching my patient. Hi, my name is Pierre. I'm gonna be your student nurse today. May I get your full name and date of birth? Okay, I'm gonna check the badge to make sure it's the same. Okay, um, I'll be doing a cardiac assessment on you today. Um, what is your pain on a scale of zero to 10? Zero, very good, okay. I'm gonna check to make sure your bed is locked. Um, I'm gonna make sure that you have all your equipment available to you. Your call light is within reach. And I'm gonna close your drape to make sure you have some privacy. All right, I'm gonna bring up your bed to a comfortable working level. Okay, I'm just going to inspect the chest. Okay, I'm going to um, palpate the chest, make sure everything feels normal on the chest. Okay, I'm gonna percuss between the intercostals of the ribs. Okay, I'll be listening to your heart. First, I'm gonna listen with the diaphragm. I'm gonna start on the aortic valve, the pulmonic valve, herbs point, tricuspus valve, the mitral valve. Okay, I'm gonna flip it to the bell side, the aortic valve, listening for any murmurs, pulmonic valve, Herbs point, tricuspid valve, mitral valve. Okay, I'm gonna have you turn your head to the side. I'm gonna listen to your carotid artery. Make sure there aren't any furies. I'm gonna have you hold your breath with my bell. Okay, I'm gonna have you do the same to the other side. I'm gonna have you turn your head that way. Hold your breath while I listen to your carotid artery. Make sure there aren't any furies on this side. Okay, great. All right, now I'm going to, I'm gonna palpate your, um, your carotid artery, make sure on one at a time on the side. Okay, I'm gonna have you turn it aside. I'm gonna palpate the other carotid artery. Very good. Okay, now I'm gonna assess your pulses. I, I just assessed your carotids, and now I'm gonna assess your brachials bilaterally. Good. Your radials bilaterally. Good. Your femorals bilaterally. Good. Your popliteals bilaterally. Good. Your posterior tibials bilaterally, all right, and your uh, dorsal pedis, but pedis um, arteries bilaterally. Okay, good. And now I'm gonna check for edema. I'm gonna check your on, on your upper extremities. Good. Good. I'm check bilaterally. Good. All right. I'll check edema on your on your legs and your lower extremities. Good. Bilaterally. Good. Okay, great. All right, so um, have you had any issues, cardiac issues in the past? Oh, okay, you, ha you have a murmur. Okay. Have you been on any medications to help with your murmur? No? Okay. All right, have you been to a cardiologist or talked to a doctor about your, um, your heart? Okay. Not, okay. What kind of foods do you eat? Um, Okay, so you've been trying to lessen your, your salt intake. That's good, okay. All right, okay. And have you been having any chest pain or anything? A little bit? Okay, great, all right. Do you have any questions for me? No? Okay, great. Thank you so much for talking with me and I'll be back shortly. I'm gonna take off my gloves. Throw them out, wash my hands, and I will document my cardiac findings. I come into the room, I wash my hands, I apply gloves. I approach my patient. Hi, my name is Pierre, I'm gonna be your student nurse today. May I get your full name and date of birth? I'm gonna check your badge, your um, ID, make sure it matches. Okay, great. I'm gonna be doing a GI assessment on you today. What is your pain on a scale of zero to 10? Zero, okay, great. All right, I'm gonna check, make sure it is locked. Make sure you have all your equipment. Your call light is within reach. I'm gonna close your curtain for some privacy. I'm gonna lift up your bed um, to make sure that it's at a comfortable position for me. All right, I'm gonna help you ease into a dorsal recumbent position. All right. All right, and I'm gonna assess your abdomen. Okay, everything looks even. 
There's no lumps or bumps, no redness. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna also take your abdomen. Okay, I'm gonna start down here. Okay, great. All right. Next, I'm going to percuss your abdomen down here, your liver, here. Good. All right, and now I'm going to palpate. Okay, everything seems really good. Okay, great. Okay, have you had any problems with eating? No. Any vomiting? Nausea? No. How about your stools? Have you been, when's the last time you had a bowel movement? Okay. You, yesterday? Okay. All right. How often do you usually have a bowel movement? Once a week. Really? Okay. All right. And do you any bloating or anything between bowel movements? You do? Okay. All right. Have you noticed any blood or anything in your bowel movements? A little bit? Are you on any pain medication for, uh, for your bowels? No? Okay, okay. And have you had any history of any issues with your bowels? Your mother did. Okay, do you have any questions for me? No? Okay. All right, thank you so much for talking with me. Those in the trash, wash my hands, and I'll document my findings on the GI system.